Hello everyone, today we're gonna have a look at Low Magic Age, which is an indie game based on the 3.5 version of D&D. And I bought this game back in 2017, and back then it was basically just an arena game, where you built your party and you fought a bunch of arena battles and just leveled up and kept doing it. But, I've learned recently that they've added a sandbox mode, so um, we're gonna try that out today and see how it's what it's like so let's just start it you slowly open your eyes dizziness is still clouding your mind a young woman sits beside you looking down with concern painted on her face goddess bliss you're finally awake how do you feel do you remember what happened mm, i feel dizzy who are you did you save me i'm eileen we found you passed out along the beach you're an adventurer aren't you but not from this land, the lady looks you over and asks, Are you here alone or were you with, a, with companions? I came with several adventurers, did you see them? We only found you, my companion Todd has been searching for others, but as, you yet has, as, as of yet has uncovered no clues to where they may be. We must make haste to track them, track them for many monsters wander around this stretch of coastline, Eileen anxiously explains. We'd better prepare for a fight should you wish, wish to save your companions. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. So, we, I made a party before starting the recording. So, we have four people. But I think we're alone with Eileen for now. So, we're gonna find our, our party before we can just go around the world and see what we can do. So, this is a little tutorial bit. We're gonna walk over to... To here and uncover to see if we can find our people. While searching along the coastline, you find some obvious signs of struggle written upon the sands, sands of the beach. You see a smattering of messy footprints, some human size, but most smaller. Hey, we found some stuff. We got cure, cure wounds, a potion of heroism, crossbow, and some bolts. Very nice. Ooh, what's this? Forest farm. No production lines occupied by monsters. Huh. I actually don't know much about the sandbox version. I've, I've done the tutorial to just see what it's like, but other than that, I don't know much about it. But, Eileen, Goblin! A young fighter rushes at you with two goblins trailing behind. Spears sail over his shoulder and impale the ground just in front of you. Draw your weapons. So, okay, I can just show you how this works. We're basically on the grid. We have an enemy here and we have a little party and Eileen is a wait it's... there we go it looked like you were controlling Grimgore but no we're controlling Eileen because she got the box and we're fighting some goblins which well obviously because of uh, of what happened just before so we're gonna cast bless Grimgore can go up and stand there and just chill let them come to us and he can go there. He's a level 4 fighter. Hmm. Well, he's a lot stronger than us. Luckily, he's on our team. So, Oh, and it got, um, it's got some uh, like smart casting. So if anyone would have been damaged, we could just click on Grimgore with our healer and the game would just know that we would heal. But we can just see if she can punch it. Oh, she does. Very good. Let's pop rage. Oh, right. Attack of opportunity. That makes sense. Because Dungeon Dragons. I have played a lot of Dungeon Dragons though. And uh, like between video games and just tabletop I've been playing Dungeon Dragons for probably like 15 years now. So I do know, know, the, ga know the game rules but if you're new to Dungeons & Dragons, especially the 3.5 version, um, they do have a pretty good tutorial to how things work, and it's a pretty straightforward uh, straightforward uh, system, so... These damn goblins, the young fighter, must be the companion Todd that Eileen mentioned. After crushing the foul little beasts, Todd reports the results of his search. Your companions have been taken away by a band of goblins, unfortunately, the bulk of them broke camp by the time I picked up the trail. I killed two of them. No, three of them. The rest are no doubt with your friends. Are they hurt? 
I'm sorry, sorry, I couldn't see them clearly from such a long distance. They were still on their feet though, so I doubt they were gravely wounded. So what do we do now? We should move towards the Spike's Fortress immediately, Todd says hastily. If we're lucky, we'll reach Spike's Fortress in time to save your companions. Sure. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna go to a monster's den. And I'm so... I assume that this is... Yeah, Spike's Fortress over there. Spike's Fortress has the name described... As the name describes, can easily be identified even from such a long distance as it as this. However, there is no time to enjoy the scenery. You must find those damn goblins. They mill about a strange statue, preparing something without en entering the fortress, leaving your companions practically, practically unguarded. Here's our chance. With a nod, you look at each other and pull out your weapons. So. Yeah, so there's... The maps are... I think they're randomly generated. There might just be a big pool of them. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll have to fight some more goblins before getting to our party. And let's just charge at him and kill him. Very good. And let's see if there's if they're gonna come out or yeah, there's some more goblins. Filthy goblins. And that seems to be all of them. Hey, we can go around. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, if we don't see anything, it assumes that it's um, passable. So that's good to know. I wasn't aware of that. Because I haven't played this game since uh, 2017, so... There's a lot I don't remember, but yeah. Attacks opportunity. That's fine. You know how that works. Well, if you don't, it's basically leaving a threatened square. Base and a threatened square is any any square around the enemy where he can attack. So, it's pretty basic. Courage and persistence finally pay off. Your companions are re rescued with minimal casualties. Let them re recuperate in the nearby towns and, the and they'll be good as new. Eileen suggests you, le you head to Lod. Lod is an outpost manned by ad the Adventurers Guild in the Eastern Continent. Lod is, a, is an ideal place to rest and resupply. Adventuring parties... <laughs> rest and resupply adventuring parties. Eileen will take care of getting you registered with the Adventurers Guild so you can... So you may follow up with them. Although you you and your companions may have a lot of questions, such as, such as what happened to your ship, you don't have any time to dwell on them. Foreign adventurers shipwrecked in a strange, strange continent would find heed, heeding Eileen's advice be undoubtedly the best and only option at this very moment. Makes sense. So, um, I guess quest completed. We should have all of our companions. We get a belt of giant, giant strength, which is a huge get for uh, a level 1 adventurer group. And according to Eileen, you decide to take yeah, right. Oop, stay. Okay, I just randomly clicked to stay, but I hit a little thing, and yeah, we can fight some monsters. So, that's four rats. Should be fine. And we have our wizard Balthasar Gelt over here. Okay, if we move up a little bit, we should be able to just magic missile. Did a little bit of damage, but I mean, it is a level one magic missile, so it's kind of to be expected. Let's just use our ranger to shoot. Oh, we should probably go through our. Whoops. Well, that's not that's not a good start, having our wizard attacked by rats. But our party is basically Grimgor is our orc barbarian. We have Orion, which is a wood elf ranger. Deathmaster Snitch as our rogue. It says he's a goblin, but he's Skaven. And Balthasar Gelt as our wizard. I just felt like naming them after Warhammer characters. So. We're just gonna kill some rats. Hey. When making melee attack, you get flanking bonus, and it also allows a sneak attack. But, I mean, that was obviously not flanking, so I don't know why that popped up, but I guess tell us that flanking is a thing. 
Let's cast some sleep on them so we can get basically free attacks. And stop this guy from attacking. Could probably kill this guy in one hit. Yeah. Does so much damage. At least compared to our other characters. But then again, he has a great axe and a plus six in strength. Which is going to do a lot for his damage. And we got a Guis Arm. I don't think anyone can use that. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, I guess it's just military. I don't know. We'll see. Heavy Flail. See if anyone can use that too. So, we also have a bunch of skill points. Because for some reason, you can't put skill points out when you create the character. So, we're going to do that now. Right, and you do that down here for the entire party, basically. So, we can give Grimgore a bunch of of uh, Intimidate. Maybe some Listens. And that is all his skill points. Now, Balthazar. Since he is a wizard, let's give him all the concentration he can have. And these are in development, so I don't know if they will have any sort of function, but let's just get those anyway, just in case. Because, I don't know. They might work. But they might not. Uh, history might be good. Maybe Dungeoneering as well. It should be here somewhere. That's always a good one to have. And Deathmaster. He is gonna have to find some traps and stuff. So, let's give him search and... Disable device, let's give him some open locks, because he's the rogue, so of course he's going to need some of that. I guess some sense motive isn't bad to have. I don't know if that's going to... If that's... Got any use in this game yet. They're still, they're still adding a lot of stuff, so... Maybe. I guess just... Grab these, so he's nimble. Let's give him some tumble. That, sh that should really have a function in the game, because that's how you avoid attack of opportunities. And... I don't know. Let's... And the scrolling is crazy. It's like one tick of the scroll wheel and you fly all the way everywhere. Let's give him some rope use. Oh, right. Still have Orion as well. Uh, let's give him some heal, I guess. Listen and search isn't bad to have. I don't know how much this matters, like I said, but let's just dole them out at least so so we can say it's done. So where is... Oh, I guess it's up there. I guess we can check this out first. Some random manner. And yeah, let's open the lock. No picks. Right. <laughs> Could be good to have. These guys probably have some lockpicks. Uh, Re Port Red Conch is a dilapidated small village. Local residents do not know you. Okay, sure. And temporary messages deliver to Moonport. What is this? It's too late to wait for the next messenger. If you're going that way, please help us out deliver these letters to Moonport. Oh, so it's a little, like, tiny quest. So, in these places you can also get some more party members, so you can just you can just start your adventure with just one guy and go and uh, recruit people as you go, or you can like fill out your entire party and just have your preset party go uh, to go right from the start. And I mean, we could use a cleric. Clerics are good to have. But I think for now, we just want do you not have lockpicks? You have simple tools. That seems like something good to have. Bolts, shortbow, javelins. So they don't have any picks. That's annoying. Okay. We should at least get some supplies because we only have three. So how do you get supplies? There's some buy supplies. Very good. Let's just buy full. Some services. Oh. Okay, so let's Moonport. Where is Oh, over there. Well, we'll get there sooner, sooner or later. First, let's finish the tutorial. 
And we get some XP and hopefully some uh, lockpicks. Sufficient combat prowess and advocate supplies are essential for a qualified adventuring party, no matter what it is in front of you. Need 10 supplies and... Oh, we need to increase our party size. Okay. So, I guess you have to get one. Even though... I, I think this is probably something that happens even if you're just one or five. You have to get another guy. I don't know what happens if you have six already. But... Um... Okay, so they don't have any lock... Oh, wait. Here's some more stuff. Simple tools. Is that lockpicks? I don't... Using the disable of a device and open lock... Okay, so this is lockpicks. Right, so let's buy more of those. Because we're gonna need them. And... Hmm. We could get... Nah. So, these are trade goods. You can... Prices vary a lot between towns, so you could just play this game by going between cities and buying up their trade goods and selling them elsewhere to make a bunch of money and so on and so on. So, you could live the li life of a trader. Ooh, deliver to Moonport. We're going to Moonport anyway, so we might just get that. And, I mean, cleric isn't bad. We need a cleric, I guess. There we go, get some XP, travel to Nathball. We'll find out where that is. But, I guess we'll grab this. Yeah. And we'll go to Moonport. We can hop in some caves or something on the way. Huffling thieves, some badgers. Let's go kill the thieves. Come back here, you bastard. There we go. Engaged. So, these are level 1 halfling thieves. So, we can just delay a bunch. Have them come to us. So, they take their turns first. And they might come in close enough so we can actually attack them. Or at least cast some sleep spells. Yes. Good. Wait, sleep is full? Let's see... Yeah, full round action. Dang it! Okay, well, at least we get a magic missile in this bastard. Can rage, Gr rage Grimgore and just rush him in. Slaughter this guy. And... Get over here and just bless everyone. Let's, you can start moving up and... You can go there and shoot that guy. So I don't know how it works in the sandbox mode. If um, everything is scaled to our level. And sleep is such a good spell. It's silly. Yeah, so I don't know if everything scales or if you can just happen on uh, some level 10 people at level 1 or whatever, but... I guess we'll, we'll see if we can find something, find some people that are way higher level than us. And as he's sleeping, we get some sneak attacks. Wait, seriously? I dealt two damage with a sneak attack. That is, that is some low rolls. Okay, sure, whatever. Shoot him. We can let him sleep and we can just pass him. Okay, so I'm hoping, well actually, I was gonna say I'm hoping we can find some, find a dagger so we can give a offhand weapon for Deathmaster, but maybe we'll wait, I think we'll wait for, for that until we can give him two weapon fighting, because otherwise he'll just get so many negatives fighting with two weapons, so for now a rapier is fine. And now we just surround this guy, alright, oh, ranged. Whatever, he's asleep, he can't get an attack of opportunity, even just even though I'm firing firing in melee combat, because he is asleep. There we go. Wait, there are lockpicks? Okay. 
commas and javelins. Okay. So there are lockpicks, but there's also... Wait. Can we... There's an inventory. So what's the difference between simple tools and lockpicks? Using the disabled device and lockpick skills require at least simple tools of the appropriate sort. A pick, pry bar, blank, blank key, wire or the like. Or a set of thieves tools. Attempting without a set of thieves tools imposes... Okay, so it's about bonuses. So I guess this is neutral. Well, this gives a minus two penalty. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, right. We should give out our belt of giant strength. Oh. And we also have a locked chest. Death master. Pick this. Okay. Let's try again. There we go. So, we get a bunch of money, some spell materials, a plus one Gizurami, and I have a flail. So, can you use... No, you can't. Because it is military. This is exotic, so I guess just simple weapons for you then. No, this is military. Why can't you... Oh, right. I guess... Um... I guess it is something like, yeah, martial weapons, axes and mazes, because military is a martial weapon and we have to, there's not a martial proficiency, it's specific martial weapons, right. It's been a while since I've played 3.5, is that really how it was? Am I just too used to Pathfinder? Because <laughs> Pathfinder, I know it's... Martial profici proficiency in general, but whatever. We can't use it. That's a bummer, but we'll just sell it. Get some money. And he is getting the belt of giant strength because he's just jacked. So, let's go to Moonport. Oh. Kobolds. Well, we don't have to fight them. Oh, but they did engage. Got some badgers engaging us. Let's just delay. Let them... Let's see if they come in. In view, we don't want to get jumped. Okay. Oh, right. Sometimes it hard, it's hard to see, or it's just me that's being... That's not looking properly, because I thought we were going north, but yeah, obviously we're going south. Um, yeah, we'll pass with you. you go over there. There's the badger. So, wizard. Oh, we haven't rested, right, so we can't... I guess you have a sling or something. I don't remember what you have. Light crossbow, right. Oh. Shoot the badger. Okay, so it's... I think it's three badgers. We haven't seen the other guys, but I'm assuming the others are badgers too. Because I don't know what... Yeah, I know how charge work. I'm... I'm not sure what else would hang out with some badgers, so... <laughs> um, yeah, see, now when Grimgore is damaged, I can just smart cast this. Hey, good healing. That's five foot steps down there, and... Maybe I should have delayed him, so maybe we could have gotten some sneak attacks, but it's fine. We'll put him to sleep. Gonna shoot you. I know, it's... It'll undo the sleep, but it also basically auto automatic hit, so it's good for that too. So, right, let's heal Grimgore again. And stab, shoot, shoot. Okay, you can go and... Yeah, you're fine. Let him try. I'm gonna go hit him. He does so much damage, I don't want to waste it on something with like, with like 5 HP left. Have our cleric punch him instead, and sneak attack. Yeah, that is some weak ass damage. I guess it's, it is just 1d6 sneak attack damage at level 1, so I guess max damage would be, uh, would be 10, so. It's not very strong right now, but it'll It'll get silly when he gets a lot of attacks and and uh, like many attacks, a lot of sneak attack di dice. It's just silly. But um, 
Yeah, did those quests just finish? I just clicked through it. Sorry about that. But I think it just fixed itself. So, buy some spell materials, buy some supplies. Very good. Anything good here? Punching daggers are cool, but don't think we're gonna use them. Dense grindstones. What do you use those for? Just crafting metal items, huh? Okay, well, I don't think there's anything we need right here. There's no... Oh, wait. The quests are in the tavern, right? So this is just deliver letters again. That's boring. Let's just go find a dungeon. Because we haven't done that. Yeah, let's go to the Elder's Graveyard. That sounds good. See if we can... Because this is... This is also a cool feature. It's basically like Darkest Dungeons E. You walk around, you find shit. <laughs> and... And of course there's some baboons in the... Um, in the graveyard. Why not? Why wouldn't there be? So we can... Hmm. I would like to get around it more so we could flank better with the rogue, but actually, that's fine. Oh, never mind. Shoot this guy. And just live with live with stabbing without sneak attack. That's fine. Let's do it like so, and Grimgore is just tearing it up. Oh, suspicious place. It is a potential trap, I guess. That's something that's something suspicious ahead. You need to discover and eliminate the danger before moving on. Okay, so I guess Balthasar here is best at searching. Found a trap. So we got a 20% success chance. You can force the trigger, but then we might as well just this try to disarm it instead, so. See? Nope. Okay. Took some damage. That's fine. Oh, it's not that bad. Took four damage. Not a big deal. Oh, some treasure. Let's lockpick. Oh. Oh, come on. So you, this is how you want it, eh? Okay. So we got a scythe. No one can use that. But, oh right, we should have sold our fancy stuff. Because we had some plus one weapons that we can't use. Hey, some more treasure. Treasure. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's a 45% chance. <laughs> okay, so what is that? Two successes out of seven attempts at 45%? Yeah, that's... That checks out. Oh, scale me. Can anyone... Does anyone want a scale mail? Pretty sure Grimgor can have scale mail. So you can expand the the information screen with alt or just hit some of these to specifically open some, but I'm just usually use alt. And uh, yeah, you got medium arm proficiency. That should be fine. None of the others can use it. Well, actually the cleric can, but he already has one. So, yeah, let's give it to Grimgore. Two extra AC, not bad. And, oh, there's a long corridor. How many traps are gonna be along this? Okay. Find some traps. Hey, you finally found something. Well, I guess finding wasn't the problem. This is gonna be... Fail, probably. Hey! There we go. The luck's turning around. Good. Let's keep going. Damn, there's a lot of traps in this corridor. They do not want us to come here. And... Good luck? No. Dang it. Okay, so... He took... Wait, what? It got reset? Oh, you son of a... Oh, hey, we did it. Nice. So, oh, 
Oh, there's levels. I have not uh, encountered this before. I thought it was a single level dungeon every time, but I guess not. Hey, treasure. And failed. And we don't have any lockpicks left. <laughs> oh, that is so dumb. Well, I mean, that is fine how it works, but... That is, like... That's some good luck we got there. And you can't use simple tools to open very simple locks, I guess. I thought it said we could. Yeah, using the disable device and open lock skills require at least simple tools. Of, oh, of the appropriate sort. So what, what good is simple tools then? Oh, can I just... No? Can, I can't just select this? Or do I have to have this and... I guess I maybe have to have this and some picks. Okay, so I guess we're not getting that. That's fine. Okay, let's see what's downstairs. I'm very curious. Okay, so we can't <laughs> pick locks anymore. We need more. Okay, so I guess this is the boss fight. Goblin Impaler, Goblin Cutthroat, and a Badger. Okay, it's just delay. Oh, wait, what is... Oh, I guess we haven't explored these two walls, so... It gives us the options to go uh, go there, actually. Okay, so shoot him. Oh, 80% miss. <laughs> God dang it. Okay, let's get the Bless on. Get some better hit chance. And... Oh, they're really... Really piling in there. Okay, so let's get sleep. Nice. Move you over there and sneak attack. Seven. Excellent. Um. Ah, that's fine. Oh, wait. Did he just run? Roll a natural one. He did. Oh, that son of a bitch. Okay. Well. I guess that's just how it's gonna work. Natural ones happen. I feel like I haven't haven't had the greatest rolling in this video. Like so many misses on uh, let's delay him. So many misses on Oh right, he's sleeping. Never mind, I didn't need to delay. But let's go there and allow for a sneak attack there as well, but Yeah. A lot of failed uh lock picking shit and uh Trap disarmament locks. Well, we did have that one that was really good. That succeeded on the 30% on the first try, so that was nice. But other than that, it seems like we've we've had some issues with with uh, yeah, that's fine. With rolling. Good. Hey, bunch of lock picks. That's very helpful. Got a bunch of XP. And a Cloak of Resistance, not bad. And a Morningstar. Which we can give to our... Um, our... Cleric. Because Morningstars are simple. Yeah, exactly. I guess you can have that too. So, Grimgore leveled, because I did do the tutorial with him, and I guess the experience is saved over there. So... Right, there you see the experience, so... Yeah, he had a lead on uh, 300. I guess he did do some fights before we found the rest of the party as well, so... Might be that, and not just saving... I don't know. Either way, we don't get much in this level, we just get a bunch of number increases. And that is... Wait, where do we get... AC up? Oh, is that... Oh, maybe, maybe that was something we've got as a barbarian. I didn't pay attention. But, yeah. This is low magic age. It's really fun, actually. And if you just want to go around kill shit and enjoy leveling Dungeons & Dragons characters, I can really recommend it. It's very chill and just pretty fun. 
So yeah, that's gonna be it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.